Hi everyone, my name is Zhen Chu. Today, the topic of my presentation is effects of social network in learning on high school students in China. I would like to argue that social network in learning has positive effects on high school students in China with three reasons, which are social network make learning more flexible, help students in research process, and promote communication and collaboration. First, I want to discuss how social networks make learning more flexible. The use of online learning strategy will promote flexible curriculum in education. As Joker has pointed out, the flexible curriculum provides students with more opportunities to adjust their learning process and learning environment, increasing students' attendance and enrollment. There is an app called WhatsApp. The WhatsApp and similar social networking services have the potential to be used in the management of schools. However, they still have challenges. It was categorized as contextual, students-related, and teacher-related, such as lack of proper technology and infrastructure, lack of pedagogies and learning theories to support blended curriculum and the students' self-regulation habits. But the information provided by Joker regarding the conditions and the obstacles to curriculum flexibilities becomes an invaluable resource for developing customized online curricula. Second, social network helps students in research process. Learning in social media age now rests upon the ability to access and use distributed, distributed information on a just-in-time basis. Simply put, learning can be seen as an individual ability to connect to specialized information news and sources as and when required. In the online learning community, knowledge building has the following characteristics. First, it is an aim of the online learning community and an important activity of learning. Second, it, it is focused on the particular problems about which learners need to carry out in deep investigation. However, learning through, through the social network may cause students' academic privacy cannot fully protect it. But they still have solution can solve that problem. The outcome of social network depends on its intended usage. When integrating these tools into daily academic activities, students should proactively define work objectives. Many setting choices in the social media apps could be used to support privacy settings and avoid disruption. Finally, social network promotes communication and collaboration. The use of social network sites, particularly Facebook, is growing in the educational field. It is eliminate time and space constraint on communication between teachers and the students. Moreover, the social network setting was constructed using an open source developmental environment named the LAMPSTICK. It is widely used in the teaching of design. However, they still have the hidden danger on the social network communicate. For example, lack of polite and respectful communication, download or spread an items that are sexually explicit or discriminatory among the students. It also influences students' ability to communicate in the workplace. For my refutation, some responsible educators recommend students use safe software like WhatsApp, have security features, and can share different file formats. Also support effective overseas learning communication. To sum up, social networking learning has positive effect on high school students in China. So here are my references. There are eight references that I used in that presentation. Thank you for listening.